Django, this French gypsy guitarist, I think is one of the greatest natural musicians of this century. Any musician was influenced by Django at the time, whether he were a guitar player or not. He, was, he himself was such a phenomenon. My dad was a big, big fan of Django's. His friends would come round on a Saturday and they'd all sit round with their guitars and they'd put on a record of, um, of the Hot Club, Sweet Georgia Brown or whatever it was. And they would sit and listen very closely and then when, when it finished then they would all pick their guitars up and then have a go at doing it. And there could be, there could be you know, 12 of them, you know, so one person would be playing the melody to Sweet Georgia Brown, there'd be 11 others all chunking away <laughs> at this rhythm. <laughs> Well, I think Django touched all of us. I mean, I, he, he's probably the greatest, the most phenomenal guitar player. I think the, the thing about Django Reinhardt's playing was it, it was direct, direct communication. It just got, goes straight to you. Hearing, hearing Django play was something that just connected with me. It was just such a, a strong connection that brought me to music and, and from as far back as I can remember I knew that I just wanted to play music because it was the one thing that really touched me, that really, really moved me in, in made me feel good, it made me feel, all, all the emotions, all the feelings would come out from, from hearing music, which I didn't get from, from other things. I didn't, you know, if I watched a movie, it was just a movie, it was just people acting. If I Poetry that was didn't really do anything. That was like, you know, uh, looking at a painting was like, yeah, that's really nice. But if I heard music, then that was something that just connected with me completely. I can also just remember saying to my dad when I was very, very young, I said, Dad, you know, when I hear Django play, it's as if it's as if he's talking to me. It's not just a technical thing. I mean, the, the sheer fire that he played with, the emotion was, uh, is untouchable, you know. That melodic way of, of, of playing music, it was like, there were, it was talking, but there were, there were no words, but it was, it was this, this it, it just, uh, it just made direct contact with me. And I thought, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. And uh, as soon as I was really big enough just to pick a guitar up, that, that's what I did. There are still numerous people around today that try and emulate Django. No one's ever equaled him, especially bearing in mind that he only had two fingers to play with. A remarkable man. Some guitar players I, I do hear, and I, I, I'm quite overwhelmed by their guitar playing, but I'm, I'm very conscious of their guitar playing. Strangely, when I, when I hear Django play, I, I don't hear the guitar being played. I just, I hear music, I just hear this, the, the music that's being played, the, uh, the emotions and feelings that's being conveyed. And I, I think it was that, that connection that is, it's become so important to me that it's not, it's not something that I do, it's something that I am. It's, it's just part of who I am and what I am. It's, I don't think of it as, uh, you know, yes, I play music, and that's, that's what I do. It's, it, it's actually what I am. But it was also very interesting what Stefan, Stefan did say to me once. He said, he said, it doesn't matter how great you think Django sounded when you listen to those records. He said it was nothing compared to hearing him in the flesh, hearing it live. He said it, it, it was a fraction of what it was actually like to be uh, in the room when he played. I find that scary. <laughs> I'm frightened. <laughs> My father absolutely adored the music of Django Reinhardt. Ken used to tell me stories about Django. Um, the, uh, one that comes to mind, I'm sure it was Ken that told me this, was about one of Django's brothers. Joseph Reinhardt was very superstitious. He maintained that if he wasn't playing well, he would um, imagine that there were s bad spirits inside his guitar. Ken told me that Django Reinhardt had taken his guitar, immersed it in a bath of hot water to loosen the glue. I have a quick look inside 
make sure there were no evil spirits, and then he'd glue it all back together again. Now, whether this is true or not, I don't know, but it's a good story. Did he meet Django Reinhardt? I don't know. The story differs. <laughs>